We're sitting here on the ground because it's 79 degrees. It feels like summer, doesn't it? It is kind of. It, it kind of is, except it's February. And we're trying to get Bonnie to cooperate <laughs> so we could get a picture with all the girls because that mm -hmm. horse back there, that's Penny. That's my first horse. Yep. And this is my girl, Bonnie. And that's my girl, Austin. So. The picture wasn't working, but video will. Hey, y'all. That's just that's what I say. Hey, y'all. I have been wanting to try something different and new with my cast iron skillet that I've never done. So I'm going to try to make a pizza in it. I saw Ree do this, the Pioneer Woman, Ree Drummond, who I kind of channel in some ways sometimes because she's awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna try it too. I, uh, she used store-bought pizza dough. I don't even have any. I'm gonna have to make some up right now. And then we're gonna see what happens. It, it really can't be bad. I don't think. And convenient of convenient is the fact that I already have a pizza dough recipe on here and on my blog. So, two cups of all-purpose flour or um, bread flour, but I don't have any bread flour because I really hadn't been making bread. I actually never make bread, but I do make pizza crust. Anyway, all-purpose flour, two cups, one, two. My math is continuing to improve. Sorry, I lied. I only put one cup of the flour to begin with. And then mix your other ingredients, which is going to be, this doesn't fit, one tablespoon of yeast, live active yeast, a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm actually using measuring tools for a change. Uh, and one tablespoon of sugar. The sugar's, sugar makes everything better. And then I'm um, just going to stir it up and add two-thirds a cup my other measuring cup is dirty two-thirds a cup of lukewarm water so stir that up and then you're gonna add what you need of the rest of the flour up to another cup to get a loose um, ball I think that's what the instruction said anyway and my family's about to come in and it's going to get loud, so. Yep, the term is loose ball. And what I do is I just use my hands because it's really sticky. So, it's just easier to kind of use your hands. I wish I had a way. I need some kind of, I need like a head camera. And then I could like show you what I'm doing with my hands. There's got to be a way. Tripod. I'm on it for the future. In other news, in true Murdy fashion, Murdy is my nickname if I've never told y'all that. That's a whole nother rabbit trail. Anyway, in true Murdy fashion, I started making supper not making sure that I had all the ingredients I need. Even though I went to the grocery store today and bought pepperoni to make the pizza, I kind of forgot about the cheese. And the only cheese I have on hand is Colby Jack. Is that what I would recommend? No, I would recommend mozzarella. But this is what my poor family's gonna have to eat because it's all I got and I just made the dough. And this is, you know, I'm committed. I'm committed to making this pizza now. So that's what we're gonna do. Learn from me, do better than me. My husband said something the other day that was really funny. My brain has been like even more on overdrive than normal. And I just, I had a lot going on Friday. And I said, I feel like my brain is like on drugs. It's not, but it just felt like maybe it could be. And he came up with this great saying. Actually, he didn't come. I'm sure he's just known it. But even after being with him for 15 years, he tells me things that, 
I've never heard him say before, and I'm going to amend this to make it PG, but he said, my brain was as stretched as a gnat's tail across the end of a fire stick. That's where I live, basically. That's my state a lot of days. So for what it's worth, I did try to use this little thing with my camera and obviously it didn't work, but I did do a really good job of getting flour all over it. So awesome. Um, so while the dough is resting and rising, we're going to put the oven uh -uh, on 500. It's a blister from blowing up balloons for night to shine. Anyway, we're going to get that preheated to 500 and put, gosh, it's not dirt. It's where it got wet. It's fine. It's fine, y'all. We're going to let that preheat to 500. And while you wait on it to cook, you can test the pepperoni. Just to make sure it's okay. This is okay. Okay, I preheated the pan to 500. It was really hot, obviously. And then I put about a quarter cup of olive oil in it, and then I put the pizza dough, and then I put some pasta sauce, and then I put this pepperoni, and I'm gonna put cheese, and I'm gonna cook it 12 to 15 minutes, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see what we get. Okay, the pizza is out. I feel like I possibly put just a little bit too much olive oil because it appears to be swimming in it. But it looks like a pizza in a cast iron skillet, which is kind of what I was going for. So we'll see what it tastes like. Okay, it's really hot. Consensus, it is good. And I will be doing this again. It, um, look, it's so pretty and brown. It's not burnt. It is a little greasy. I believe I might have used a hair bit too much olive oil because I didn't actually measure that quarter of a cup. But it still worked. So I think if I actually put a little more thought into this, get some mozzarella, some fresh basil would be amazing on it, um, hamburger, sausage, mm -hmm. something other than just pepperoni next time. This is going to be a winner. Y'all should try it. This farm wife seal of approval on cast iron pizza. Thank you, Ree. <sighs> One day I'm gonna meet her and she's gonna realize that we were long lost sisters. But until then, I'll just eat. Well, what a week. This is me in my truck, but with a lot of makeup on more than normal a lot more than normal for me but i went today to do something different because i got some different kind of things going on and they're exciting but different is also scary right can be so a few months ago i made the decision to stop doing weddings with my photography business and I thought that's what I was going to do <laughs> until a good friend who was also a really good photographer in the area reached out to me about possibly going in business together and doing them together. And honestly, it's the only way that I would consider doing them again for a lot of reasons. <laughs> Uh, so today we decided for sure that's what we are going to try to do and I went to her studio and we took some pictures together and we're going to roll all that out here shortly but um, yeah you know that whole thing about never saying never I have found myself living that a lot lately <laughs> it's just funny when you do that when you say that and then things come up and happen and that you didn't see coming or you weren't really planning to do. Um, but 
yeah, never say never because you never know. <laughs> but I think that's, that's life. And sometimes that can be a really good thing about life is that, you know, when we just don't need to set restrictions sometimes. We just kind of, I find that I just kind of take things as they, take things as they come and try not to miss out on opportunities as they come that, you know, I'm comfortable with and that excite me. And um, this is one that's exciting. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's been my day, part of my day. It's just been a crazy week. It's been a lot going on. There's just a lot going on in a lot of different ways. And all of it's good. It's just time consuming and having to wrap my head around different things and opportunities. And, you know, just hope you make the right decisions, right? Funny, though. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you my feet. Hold on. You know, my truck is always a hot mess as much as I am. And uh, I walked out the door and decided not to wear my boots. And it started raining again today. So on the way back to my truck from her studio, this happened. Mm -hmm. It's all dried up now. That's nice, right? Yeah. That's what I get for not wearing my boots. Can't have nice things. I can't have nice things. And this is why. Not that these were nice shoes, these are old, but still, yeah. Welcome to my life. And photographing or videoing this floor really makes me think I need to at least shake that mat out. I'll get on that. <laughs>